Welcome to Christian Pattern, the podcast where we teach the pure and unadulterated gospel and teachings of Jesus Christ. Hi everybody, welcome to the Tuesday Night Devotional. I meant to do this a lot sooner, but things got in the way. So here we go. We are going to sing hymn number 37. The gentry, the winter day, descending to its close. Okay, so here we go. Let's sing this hymn. We will then sing hymn 303, Keep the Commandments, and then I will offer the opening prayer. The wintry day descending to its close. The breakfast the night song. Okay, with that, we are going to sing, get this cube right, hymn 
hymn number 303, Keep the Commandments, after which I will offer the opening prayer. Blessings, he will send blessings, words of a prophet, keep the commandments, in this there is safety and peace. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to be before thee this day. So grateful for many wonderful blessings. We know that we can count on thee and believe in thee and love thee to lift the burdens, help those that be of feeble knees, and strengthen the hands that lay down, that uh, hang down. Bless this time. We ask thee to bless our families. And we thank thee for so many rich and wonderful blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. A reading of the sixth chapter of the book of Mosiah. And now King Benjamin thought it was expedient after having finished speaking to the people that he should take the names of all those who had entered into a covenant with God to keep his commandments. And it came to pass that there was not one soul except there were little children but who had entered into the covenant and had taken upon them the name of Christ. And again, it came to pass that when King Benjamin had made an end of all these things and had uh, consecrated his son, Mosiah, to be a ruler and a king over his people, and had given him all the charges concerning the kingdom, and also had appointed uh, priests to teach the people, that thereby they might hear and know the commandment of God, the commandments of God, and to stir them up in remembrance of the oath which they had made. He dismissed the multitude and they returned everyone according to their families to their own homes, their own houses. And Mosiah began to reign in his father's stead. And he began to reign in the uh, 30th year of his age, making in the whole about 476 years from the time that Lehi left Jerusalem. And King Benjamin lived three years and he died. And it came to pass that King Mosiah 
did walk in the ways of the Lord and did observe his judgments and statutes and did keep his commandments in all things whatsoever he commanded him. We will now go to the 37th Psalm, where it really all works out. All right, let me try something here. No, that didn't work. Still trying, guys. I have technical difficulties, but I want to get to those Psalms. Very sorry, I don't know what's going on. You try this again. No, what happens. Oh shoot, I didn't want to go there. But we all have to. So we're gonna try to make this work. I have to use my phone instead of computer. Okay. Now Psalm 37, a reading of the 37th chapter of Psalms. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Cease, cease from anger, and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as he be of upright conversation. Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bows shall be broken. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritances shall be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the day of famine they shall be satisfied. 
but the wicked shall perish. And the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume in, in the smoke. Shall they consume away? Okay, guys. Now we're going to the New Testament. This should be a lot easier to access. There we go. A reading of the sixth chapter of the Gospel of St. Luke. And it came to pass on the second Sabbath after the first that he went through the cornfield and his disciples plucked the ears of corn and did eat, rubbing them in their hands. And certain of the Pharisees said unto him, why do ye that which is not lawful on the Sabbath day? And Jesus said, answered them, saying, Have you not read so much as this when David... Uh, what David did when himself was in hunger and they were which were with him how he went into the house of God and did take and eat the showbread and gave this to them that were with him which is not my fault to eat but for the priests alone and he said unto them that the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. And it came to pass also on another Sabbath that he entered into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man whose right hand was withered. And the scribes and Pharisees watched him whether he would heal on the Sabbath day, that they might find an accusation against him. But he knew their thoughts and said to the man which had the with hand, Rise up and stand forth in the midst. And he arose and stood forth. Then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful, lawful on the Sabbath day to do good or to do evil, to save life or to, to destroy it? And looking round about upon them all, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand. And he did so, and his hand was restored, whole as the other. And they were filled with madness, and communed one with another what they might do to him. The Sabbath day. What is it? Really and truthfully, what is it? President Nelson says the Sabbath day is meant to be a delight. Is it not? How can we make it a delight? 
I think it should be in many ways for, for families to get together and everything. As an individual, it's a bit more challenging. But then again, I just do my best to live the commandment and honor the Sabbath. And why not? It's, it's wrong to profane the Lord's day. It's wrong to do certain things that he has prohibited us from doing. Um, and that's the thing. Trusting in the Lord makes all the difference in the world. He asks us, He asks us to honor the Sabbath. He asks us to be in covenant with Him, as mentioned in Mosiah chapter 6. And, and, and you know, once you're baptized and everything, the seal of the Holy Ghost is is there with you, along with the seal of atonement, as long as we live righteously. And with that, with that seal of the Holy Ghost, our names are kept. Not just on the church rolls, but in the rolls of, of God. The Lamb's Book of Life. It's all written for us. It's all there for us. It's wonderful to be in covenant with him. And I trust in that. I liked it, the hymn that we sang today, talking about the industry of the pioneers when they arrived in, in you know, what was known as Desiree, it's now Utah. I visited Utah, and I, I fall in love with it. And they have some perfect ideas for industry and everything. That's mm, I love Texas. Don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit lacking here. But I just learned to put my trust in the Lord, and that's how I live my life the best way I know. I give you my final testimony because I know this church is true. I know that the Bible and the Book of Mormon together are the Word of God that we have a living prophet, even Russell M. Nelson, and that Jesus is the Christ who bled and died for our sins. Say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to The Christian Pattern. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of The Christian Pattern family. Until next time, remember who you are, read your scriptures daily, and please, 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 preach the gospel. God bless you. Remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really, 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 really love you. God bless you and have a blessed day.